Like I remember saying to my dad, what if you what parenting advice do you have for me, Dad, when my yeah. first daughter, Charlie, was born? Yeah. He goes, one thing, mate. He said, do the best you can and just be happy with that. He said, because oh, one that's bad. Wise. He, that's very wise. Well, he said, one bad influence. He said, don't ever blame yourself for things. One bad influence can take all that away, everything you've ever taught them. Could be a love that they meet yeah. that's a bad, you know what I mean? And they could get into their habits. He said, just because mm. you teach them stuff doesn't mean they're always going to. Re- you hope they do. Mm. He said, but um, just Habits be happy. do, you know, we are creatures of habit. Yeah. So we do have that on our side where we get them into a routine and a habit. Yeah. But yeah, that's so true. Like out there in the world, yeah, we're all influenced. You can't prepare them for everything and every yeah. type of person. You can't we, do it. We can help uh, the best we can. Is the yeah. Prep. And just to be, like he said, it was important, um, be happy with that, that you've, yeah, you've done it. As long as you have. He said, do your best and mm. that's all you can do. Just teach them some morals and, you know. I do like your best. That. Yeah. We well, you do have to be happy with it because otherwise you're going to blame yourself for everything. Which isn't right. No. Nah. No. So when you were 12 and – sorry if I'm like bringing this up. Oh, you don't have to apologize, mate. I'm open. Um, no, it's fucking fine. I just um, want to explore a bit more on like um, the memories with your mum. What were some of like the uh, like positive lessons that you learned from her that oh, you can remember? Everything that I am yeah. now. Yeah, look, I can't, I, I can't actually. This is a thing that was a trigger. Well, well, we were sure she committed suicide. She left a diary for the last two years of her life. I still got it. Mm. But it's missing pages. Oh. It's just over the years being moved. It's 30. Oh, okay. 20, what's that? 30, 34 years ago. So pages have come out and stuff like that. I've just, just moved. Yeah. Moving, yeah. And, but there was a list of morals she left. And it was, do you remember them old pads where they had, got the red line up the top? You know, you peel it out, the writing pads. Red line? Yeah, it had like a little red line up the top. See, I'm older than you. Yeah, don't even <laughs> fucking worry about it. <laughs> red line? Yeah, there's like a red, the stuff that stuck the pages together up the top. Anyway, I, I still remember that red line. This just stands out, yeah. the vision of this, yeah? So I'll that have was to look into that. So that was folded up and stapled into the back of the book. A list of morals. So as I got older, I'm like, this is, Dad only gave us that oh, when we were a little bit older mm. to read, you know? And I was just like, nah, she's, that's been put in there. She's planned this. That's what made me, that was a trigger for me, you know. Look, I can't remember them all. It's gone out of the book now, but I can't remember all of them. But um, a basic sort of stuff, like mm. a Ten Commandments, basic sort of stuff, but a lot of it. Um, oh, tried and true. Oh, yeah. Like she she left us this list of morals. I, I, I used to have a memorizer and now I time, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't, but I know that I'm everything. Subconsciously, you're probably just. Uh, I'm everything yeah. that she was, mm. you know, everything cool. that she was, yeah. And she she did it really hard. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so I learned um, just Have every, you read everything. That book like oh, about one hundred and fifty times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that book? It's just like this uh, video recording. Yeah, it's just her day to day life stuff. Mm. You know, she talks. She never spoke about wanting to die or anything like that. Most of it was positive. No one really wants to. Yeah, and she used to look at my brother was fourteen, so he was in high school, young bloke, like year eight. You know, so. They had, uh, he had a lot of his friends coming over. All the girls that they hung around in their group, they, I still speak to them now about mum. They, um, they used to go to the, my house after school and just hang out with my mother. She uh, was the cool mum, you know what I mean? Yeah. But she, she took them in like they were, they were her own. She absolutely mm. loved, she just loved people. 